Chair, and uh, good afternoon, uh, Mr. Ralph. Do you see the malt house compromise as a credible alternative solution? Yes. Um, so I was in uh, Brussels with the Brexit Select Committee on Monday, and we met with both Mr. Selmayr and Mr. Verhofstadt, and they made it absolutely crystal clear that the negotiations on the withdrawal agreement finished on the 25th of November, and it's a done deal, it's closed, it's not going to be reopened. They see it as a Pandora's box, which as soon as they reopen it for one issue will lead to a whole range of other issues being raised by other member states. So do you, do you get, in light of what they've said, do you still see the Malthouse Compromise as a credible proposal? Well, I think it's a credible proposal in the sense that it provides answers to the problems that we've got. That doesn't mean it will be accepted uh, on the EU side. You'll forgive me if I don't take at face value your record of what uh, has been passed to you by our EU interlocutors, because my previous experience was that you put to me that Michel Barnier had said that the Chequers proposals were dead in the water, and it subsequently became evident that he hadn't said that. Well, we can certainly have a discussion about that. I mean, I, I paraphrased what he said in the meeting. Which it's very clear then from, from him confirmed. and the transcript that you put it to him that the proposals were dead in the water and he said that that was not correct. And in fact, he went on to say some rather positive things about it. All I'm just saying is, uh, forgive me if I treat rather lightly your first-hand uh, record back to me of what EU interlocutors have said to you since my previous experience before you were in committee. Sure, I understand what, what you're saying, but in fact, my interpretation of what happened in that meeting with Mr Barnier was entirely correct because... The proposals that were on Mr. the table Kinnock, were it was roundly rubbish, and you were actually dismissed. engaged in political posturing. But I'm very happy to take any further questions you've got. Well, thank, thanks very much, and uh, I'm certainly happy to take a lecture from you on uh, political posturing. On 